Welcome to another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Days. I'm Michael Knight sitting down now with Broken Arrow linebacker Darian Moss. Darian, uh, let's start with last year, going back to last season. Um, obviously a snake bit year for Broken Arrow, a lot of injuries to a lot of guys. Um, you know, how frustrating was that to, to deal with and to witness? Um, you know, a lot of guys who just, you know, they just couldn't stay healthy throughout the year. It was, I don't know, it hurt because I got hurt the first round of playoffs, couldn't play in the semis. We had Mal Slusher got hurt. I feel like if we had everybody healthy, I, I feel like we couldn't win state. And, I mean, going into this offseason, is there anything that you guys can – you know, take a silver lining where, I mean, there, there were some younger guys that were able to get some experience and things like that. Um, obviously, it doesn't, it, 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 it stinks for the older guys that, that missed out on their senior years. But, I mean, you go into 2020 with a little more experience now. That's where, like, the leadership role, like, I, I need to step up and I'm going to step up. And, like, just because we got, we got some younger people that's going to be in the roles, like, as, as the people that, like, the younger guys we was talking about that had to step up and play varsity time for us, we're going to have more of that. Now, uh, you mentioned take a, taking more of a leadership role. You know, what are some examples of, of what you've been doing this offseason to, to take that role to, to help some of the younger guys along and what to, you know, just so they know what to expect when it comes to this team? I've been being more, more, more vocal because me, I'm just the type of guy that show it on the field. I've been like helping them through like the process, of, like because we learn a whole new defense, so it's new for everybody. But I kind of caught on to it quick, quickly. So I'm trying to help the younger kids, like just getting the scheme of it, because it's way different, like from last year. And now for you, uh, you know, for you personally, starting to get the attention of some colleges as well. Um, being recruited by some schools uh, around the country. What has that been like for you to, to go from being a guy who was, you know, working for that first offer, working to, to get that attention to now it's here and, and you're, you know, actively talking with schools and you're getting offers from, from colleges all over the country? Well, I expected it, but, like, when I got the first offer, I was happy. <laughs> I, was, I was happy. But now, like, with the COVID, with the COVID, it's kind of like, it's been weird, like, the whole recruiting process. Like, I was getting, a, my, I was getting offers, but, like, this whole time we was in quarantine, so. Now, I mean, how, how have you handled that? You mentioned the quarantine. Um, how have you handled the, the recruiting process? Because, I mean, look, you still have to make a decision eventually. Yeah. And <laughs> it makes it a little tougher when you're not able to go anywhere on visits or anything like that. Um, how have you handled it with, with the coaches? I'm sure. I mean, have you? I know virtual tours are happening. Have you done any of those? Have you have been having a lot of FaceTime conversations with, with coaches? Yeah, I did. I I've done like three virtual tours. Um, New Mexico. I did one with K State, then Buffalo. So I don't know. It's still weird. <laughs> <laughs> I rather cause I, before like it all happened. I was supposed to take some big time visits. And have we got to took them? <laughs> take them. So. Yeah, I mean, look, it's made everything so so weird. The recruiting process uh, has become such such an interesting thing to follow now. Because I mean, look, the college coaches are having to change what they do as well. It's yeah. been it's been interesting. Um, looking at 2020, other than you know the the obvious, which is you got to stay healthy, because last season might have been different otherwise. Um, what has to happen for you guys to to get back to contending for a state championship? We we gotta stay healthy. We all gotta buy buy in. It's simple. We gotta have everybody buy in and stay healthy. How much you know? How much confidence? And we'll get out of here on this. How much confidence is there uh, with this group? Because you do have a lot of uh, guys coming back on both sides of the ball that either started or got playing time last year. Uh, how much confidence is there with your group going into this season? Well, I don't really know how to answer that because we. You, the coaches tell us to stay humble and work and keep our head down. So it's really no confidence there. But we, we know we can contend for a state championship. Like, it's there, but, like, I always want to stay humble. Yeah. Look, you can be confident but not cocky. Yeah. I think that's what your coaches would say. All right, Darian, thanks so much for sitting down with me today. Uh, good luck to you and your teammates Thanks. this fall, man. Thank you. He's Darian Moss. I'm Michael Knight, and this has been another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Days.